My name is Jason Livermore, a past student of Calabar High School, North A Contract Club. I'll be representing Jamaica at the World Championship in Moscow and I'll be competing in the 200m and the 4x100m. Alright, here with Jason Livermore, former Calabar sprinter, now at the A Contract Club. Jason, he made a team to the World Championships in Moscow. He came third in the 200. The new personal best. He must be feeling good about that performance. Well, to tell the truth, I have to be honest with myself. Up to this moment, I have not yet come to reality with that 20.13. It has been a spectacular run, I have to give God thanks and also my coach because from high school till now, he has been there with me 100% supporting me, pushing me to my very best and I have to give him thanks for all this. Did you see it coming? A lot of people are surprised. Well, mo well most people would be surprised because, because of the previous Jason Livermore moving in the past because in the past I have not shown a lot of interest in my career but now it's like you no, know, it's like it's a big move, it's a big step for me. So, honestly, with me, it's not a surprise, but to others, it will be. You said it's a new Livermore. What what sparked the change? What what sparked the transformation? Well, for my, well, for my previous um, lifetime, I've been I've not been the one to say that I'm dedicated to track and field. I was like, well, I was young back then. You know, when you're young, you're the, you're the one that think the yeah, boys with the boys, but. It, it has to come a point in time where I take it serious, so I, I, I made a change and as, 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 I, as I said, my coach has been there with me 100% to, to ensure that I have my good work and do what I need to do, so I'm doing thanks. You weren't a star during your champs years at Calabar. You, you must be feeling good now that you, know, you have accomplished something as big as, as making it the Jamaican, the spring capital of the world, making the team doing an individual sprint event? Well, in my high school year, I wouldn't say I wasn't a star because, yeah, even then, even then I was a part of an elite team, but at, at, at my time in Calabar, I was like, all about the fun and games for me because at Calabar, there was a lot of competition and I never, I never really see myself among the best of the best, but in my, in my, final, in my final year, I was like, hey, this is my final year, so I have to leave high school with a bank, so. I, did, I, did, I decided to take things on my own and go to the drawing board, graph a plan, train hard, see what, and then see what I can do. And at the end of the day, I leave high school 1064. It was back then 1064 would be like average time. No, it's not. No, it's not. So looking back, looking back, and, look, and looking where I'm coming from, it's like 10.07 and 20.13. And 20 it's like yeah, it's a big move. It's a big step. All right. Um, how about how has the training gone since trials? Very intense. I can tell you that very intense. Like every morning I get up, I have to like, I have to be like, oh, yeah, training in the evening, I have gym to go, I have a core, I have a core to do. So it's like from then till now, training has gotten intense. But honestly, I like it because yeah, the more work, the merrier for me. So what kind of shape are you? In? Are you fully a hundred percent? Feeling strong heading into Moscow, which is just basically two weeks away. Well, well, for right now I wouldn't say I'm 100 percent, but honestly, right now I'm very strong because Friday ago I'm not appearing in the 300, which right now my coach, for for some reason, he has, he has not gotten any sleep from Friday till now. So, so I guess that's so I guess that whatever my Friday was, I was a, was a change, was a change in everything. So, yeah, well, I feel stronger now going to the championship, and I honestly, honestly can say that. Going into Moscow, you can you can look for great things from Livermore because I can make the 200 finals and making that finals, I can make that. You know you have to keep below 20. Yeah, and, and, and it's not hard because 20.13 was a big run. I, I, I went to make sure that the CC games in a in a very hostile condition and still run 20.20.2. 20 so speaking when, of that, um, having run so well at, at the trials, um, some were expecting those who are no aware of you we're expecting you know for you to take that goal what what happened in that race well well honestly go, um, going to cc was like it was a bit it was a challenge for me because after trials after trials um my coach and i sat down with talk and he said that going, going into moscow we have to load up a little bit so 
I went I, I kind of went on with some some average training where I kind of get loaded back a little bit but going to Mexico it was it was quite a challenge but honestly I, I, I stepped up to the challenge and I really came out with 20.2 which 20.2 for me was kind of disappointing but still won a medal but I still got a medal for the country and for myself and my team as well but when you look, look back at the condition it's like 20.2 it's fast in this condition so I accept it and I just move on to something bigger and greater Are you confident of going sub 20? Bring us back to the, the final where you, were, where you ran your personal base at 20.13. Did you execute to perfection in that race? Well, the first part was the first part was excellent. It's like the last 30 meters of the corner was like a little bit of I was like I was like I guess a little bit but in the last, like in the last part of the race now I kinda I kinda um, hung on and see what I can do but it was a great race for me. Execution was pretty well, but after you got thanks for the third place I got and the, the new PR is a new living room. So. Alright, you went to Europe on the Grand Prix sir. Tell us about that experience. Well well I've not been to Europe as yet. After, well I'm, I'm I'm looking I'm looking forward to that after the World Championship. For, well for now for now I'm I'm just in training, preparing myself for the for the World Championship games. Alright, um how has things changed for you? How has your life changed since making the team? Uh, tough question. A lot of people are now more aware of you. Who is Jason Livermore? Yes, even, well, yes, even in the streets, when I'm coming to train in the daytime, people always say, Yo, I've seen you on TV. Your name is Livermore. I say, Yes. TV is like stopping for me. And who was somebody sent a lot of autographs, taking a lot of pictures. Well, from then to now, has been. Has been I like rules, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the little fame because I enjoyed the little fame while it lasts because they don't know when everything is end, so I enjoyed the fame while it lasts. Alright, thank you very much, Jesse Livermore. Wish you all the best World Championships.